Hey Drew, this is Mr. Castlin. Um, this year I want to try out some videos with my students between sessions and see if this is a good way to relay information. We've been working on hyperbolas and this is the standard of equation of hyperbola. Remember it's x squared minus y squared or y squared minus x squared. It's the minus that makes it a hyperbola and we always set it equal to 1. Well sometimes they give us an equation and it's not set equal to 1 so watch out for that. So in this one we have to put it into this form. The way to do that is we're going to divide the 16 by 16. That's what's going to give us 1 on the right side. It's an algebra equation so whatever you do to the right hand side you have to do to the left hand side. Make sure you divide every term on the left hand side by 16. You want to create a fraction here. Remember 4 over 16 is the same as 1 over 4. So you end up with an x squared over 4, not necessary to write the coefficient of 1, minus 1 over 16, it's not necessarily to write to 1, so you get y squared over 16. Okay, this looks now like our equation of hyperbola, and it's in the form that will allow us to graph the problem. Remember how we graph it? So we've got our a squared minus b squared Okay, in this case, you're taking the square root, so a is going to be equal to 2, and b is going to be equal to 4. Now, for the a, a is, remember, associated with the x, so we're going over 2, putting a point here, and we'll go to the left, which gives us a point there. b is associated with the y variable. Square root of 16 was 4, so we're going up 4, down 4. Remember, for the hyperbola, we're creating this box. The purpose of this box is to be able to construct our hyperbola. You sketch in the box, sketch in your asymptote lines, and then you're going to start at those. Um, this is an x squared minus y squared, so we know it's a what I call a horizontal hyperbola. So we're going to start at this vertice and we're going to go towards the asymptote and get closer and closer. Um, pardon me, these sketches aren't great because I'm, I'm drawing with a mouse, but hopefully you can make this look a little prettier than I can. And you, you get both branches of your hyperbola. So again, the, we started with a 16. You've got to set it equal to 1, so divide everything by that number. Then you get an equation that looks much more like standard form of hyperbola. Find your a and b and graph your hyperbola. I hope this helps and I want some feedback on whether you can Watch this video and whether it's helpful. Thanks. Bye.